going on guys it's Morton here and I'm going to take my SJ4000 and I'm going to make it a full spectrum camcorder and I'm going to show you guys how to do it at home now what you need is you need the SJ4000 or 5000 same exact a razor blade nice sharp edge or knife I didn't have any sharp knives and some screwdrivers to pop the motherfucker open obviously first steps going to take the I personally, I leave these battery case holders off because so you're doing an investigation and that thing's on there is such a bitch to take off. The batteries are so tight in there, they don't come out, they don't fall out. I've never had one fall out. Next step is to pop this front layer right here off. Not that hard, I mean, it's actually quite simple. And you do want to be careful, I mean, it is plastic. You know, just gotta remember, you gotta live with the, your uh, camera. So if you, want, if you don't want to. It looking like a piece of crap, just be careful. Alright, that's step one. Step two is to get this thing off. I personally need the light for. like that it next what you want to do is there's a uh, glue which I don't know oh yeah obviously you guys can't see it so I'm using a really big light that's actually over here for the light but the glue is actually down there you just take the blade this blade might be too thick. I used the screwdriver and I scraped the shit out of it. I ended up going and getting another tool with a razor blade, but that didn't work. And I ended up getting it. And finally. go and that little guy right there is the filter which we're going to be popping off but you got to be careful you don't want to get any dust or anything like that in there but this is the filter we're going to be popping off so I'm going to take a break because that was a hell of a hassle I mean look at all that glue that I had to pop off but right, I'm going to take a break here I'm going to put something over this to keep it from the dust. Well. Wow. Alright, next step here is this. Like I said, we've seen that little filter right there. We're going to take and we're going to pop that thing off because that is the filter. That causes it. And it is, this is actually glass, so you have to be careful where you do it. More than likely, you're going to break it. I'm going to cut my fingers with this fucking knife. All right, I've been working on this thing, and I finally decided to start going brutal on it. I just kind of stuck up in there, and there we go. You want to get all the pieces out, obviously. We don't want that uh, obstructing the frame. Still some 
class. Honestly, I think it might be okay. Because, I mean, it doesn't seem to be obstructing. I can keep going if I really want it to. But, I don't see any of it actually still on the I think it's just the remnants of it, just like the, you know, the last little bit. I don't even think it's like actually, but anyway, okay, that looks good. Okay. Now, this made the camera really, really out of focus. So, you know, say we screw this in. I'm afraid there's still too much stuff in there. I want to clean it now. I probably can't see it. Probably shouldn't do that with my shirt, but now I screw it back in. Screwed it in crooked. <laughs> I don't know, it goes in pretty smooth, honestly. No, I didn't. Now, obviously, you're going to want to hook this up to your TV, or if you got one of the Wi Fi ones, you know, it's going to be a lot easier that way. But I'm poor, so. Somewhat is pink now, but it is massively out of focus. I will say. Well, it just gets worse. All right, but you need, you know, you need to hook it up to the. There we go. It's better, better, better. You need to hook it up to your TV with your HDMI cord, and you know, do it that way. Um, Yeah, that's mainly what you do. And you know, you can repair the uh, IR thing, the little glass thing I broke off. You can get them, I guess, on Amazon. I don't know why, if you went through all this trouble, because honestly, this was a lot of work. Um, but yes, it does save you a hundred, hundred fifty bucks. So I would definitely go this way, do it yourself. Um, I mean, it does work, so I mean. It is nice and pink, you probably can't see. Well, it's not fully pink, but it is pink. I definitely do see uh, pink now. But there you go. You know, you hook it up to your TV and get it focused again and put it back together and you're set. And then you have yourself an IR camera, or a, a, a full spectrum camera, not IR. But yeah, there you go. Sorry guys, I'm, I'm really tired. <laughs> but there you go, that's how you do it.